Hello, this is Diane, back to do a little more uh, lace organization. I have an empty drawer. I have two full drawers that I've completed. One has all the polyester nylon type of lace, and the other one is the, uh, the last one I was working on had crochet lace, gathered lace, um, special pretty laces, and things like that. And they're both, I think they're both pretty full. But now I have this drawer with the wide lace, and I have an empty drawer, which is pretty amazing. So I'm going to dump this out, and I'm going to go through the wide laces, and I'm not sure how I'm going to organize and separate them. I don't tend to get into this drawer very often, and I think I should. So I want to remind myself of what is in here. This is a special shaped piece. And it's, it was on the bottom of the drawer, so I forgot about it. So I think I'm going to have to put this in a, in a different place. It's not a typical wide lace. It's more like an applique lace. I'm going to set that aside. This is just a beautiful wide peach colored lace. I'm going to keep them on the cards they're in, I think. Uh, on the cards that they are on and I, of course I can't stand them up this way because they're too tall so I'm going to lay them down and I think you know that's part of the problem why they don't get used it's because I can't see everything when I open the drawer and this I think I have enough of this I'm going to cut some of this off and put it in my D-stash bundle this is vintage. I still have quite a bit. This is a really pretty one. And I'll just leave that where it is. I think I can uh, put some of this in the bundle too. Since I don't use a lot of the wide laces, I think hmm, I think I will use more of them if I get back into doing uh, fabric and lace covered journals because I use these wider laces to decorate the covers of the journals. But I have lots of them, and since I don't use them that often, I can let some of the portions of the larger, longer pieces go and share them with some of you. There's a nice wide blue piece, so that's not, that's not on a card. And this brown one is pretty and unusual. This wide, kind of a creamy peach color. Here's a cotton fabric one. Love this one. This isn't vintage. I think I probably got this at Hobby Lobby. This is pretty big. This can go on a card. Look at this green one. That's really wide. So I think maybe what I will do, let's take these back out again is put the exceptionally wide ones in here first, like that. Should I wrap it around a card? Oh, I knew I had other laces that had dangly parts that I could separate, so these can go on a smaller card and go in, if I can fit them in that other drawer. Um, I think I got these from Amazon or eBay or something quite a long, quite a long time ago. But I think I can put them, and this too, because I can cut this in sections. Put that in my other drawer with the laces that have um, separate sections that I can cut out. Um, let's see. Well, I'm just going to move this off the table so I can sort of put things into piles and see what I have. So this is a, a wider lace. Put that there. And these are wide laces, but not quite as wide as that. And this is one of the really wide ones, so 
I'll take that off and put it there. This is pretty wide. Well, it's no wider than that, I guess. And I think I will move this to my linens collection of stuff. That is very wide. These aren't much wider than what's, if any, than what is in my other drawer. If there's room, I'll put that in there. This does not belong in here, but I guess I just didn't have another place to put it. It's a, a beautiful antique collar with little jet beads on it. Little plastic. They're probably plastic. I don't know if they're if they're jet. I don't know how you tell. But isn't it pretty? That's going to go on something special. I don't know what yet. Okay, this is quite wide, so I am going to put that over here. In that pile, this is very wide. This is very wide. I don't think that I would actually use a gathered piece that is so wide. So I'm going to cut that off. I hope I don't regret it. Oh, doesn't want to tear. I've been using quite a bit of this lately. We have some of it on this plastic bolt. So this doesn't belong in here, and probably that doesn't either, but this one could be in here. I feel like I just put that in here though when I read organize the other one. I think I did this. So put that there. Look at that pretty one. I am going to I think I'll put some of this in a D-stash. Let me see how much is there. I just, I don't know, I haven't used it, so I'm going to get rid of half of it. I've got to be a little more stern with myself on letting things go. There's a very wide vintage eyelet. Now I'm wondering about putting the eyelet pieces like these in with my eyelet basket, but that eyelet basket is full. I think I will put this one in there though. It's not quite as wide. So I'll set that aside for the eyelet basket. I'm going to put that in the D stash. Isn't this pretty? These can go in my box with the shorter pieces of lace. I love this, but I'm going to put it in the box with the shorter pieces. I guess I'm going to have to get out that box of short pieces of lace and actually make stuff with it. Maybe I'll do some snippet rolls. That's beautiful. I'm going to put some of these in the D-stash box. This is gorgeous. It's old. 
another eyelet like piece and here's another one so I think I will destash that they would make pretty covers though I'll keep it <laughs> talked myself right into that there's some more eyelet oh look at this one this might have been from Hobby Lobby too I don't remember beautiful this I think I will put this I'm kind of setting things in a separate area that I would use in a domestic domestic arts or a big journal and that's what I have this for um, I don't remember if this was in a happy mail it might have been in a recent happy mail but I just thought domestic arts journal would have would be great for this so I'm gonna put that with those items I'm gonna destash this because I've just been using pieces of it and I still have this left and I'm done with it so I'm gonna destash that I keep wanting to pull those out they're underneath there okay this is a very wide piece Look how pretty That might have been Hobby Lobby, too. I know one time, and it's been a long time, I picked out some very, really pretty lace pieces from Hobby Lobby when the, the yardage was on sale, half price. And then I put them in that drawer and left, left them there. Maybe I should get some of these out to uh, decorate covers on my spring flower journals that are coming up. Love that one. Uh, I think these two can go in, they don't have to go in the wide box they're not that wide I love this one too it's vintage I have used some of that I just love it this is actually uh, a doily so I'm going to move that to a different maybe I have a basket of um, lace fabric type of stuff, so maybe that should go in there. This can go here, this can go here. Oh, I've got more black. Well, I guess I'm not done organizing my other two drawers because I've got a bunch of stuff that goes in those drawers. So I'm going to put the black in that with the other black laces. And both of these can go in the other drawer if there's room. That's the thing. And I think I'm just going to have to say if there's not room, I'm going to have to get rid of some more because I don't want to overflow. This is a very wide piece, but it's a fabric with several laces attached. And then I have this, which I think I will put in with my linen bits. So I have um, linens, and then I have parts of linens that are like crocheted pieces. I'll put that in with that. This can go in my short pieces box. Um, I'm going to destash those two. Now, since I've pulled a lot of stuff out, um, let me see. Let me make sure these are going to fit in those other drawers. So 
this one has the black in it. It's very old and fragile and it has some holes in it. on a different card. I guess I'll have to do it this way. Okay, now this one and these I was thinking should go with the laces that I can separate into separate bits or that have little dangly, that's what I call them, the dangly parts. But that is pretty full in here. I can move the bias tape and the daisies but I kind of wanted the daisies with the places that I can cut apart. I can move this one and this one and this one. I'll move all of those into something else. I can take this off. And how shall I arrange these? That won't stand up. That's probably why they were in the other box, or the other drawer, because I have those laying down. What I could do is just lay them down right in there. And if that doesn't work, I can always put them on, a car on cards. And then I better start using them. I don't, I don't, when I'm looking for cut apart laces, I don't look in that other drawer, so they don't get used. This was cut off of something. It's got residue of glue. It looked it was like it was glued to 
a box or something. I don't even remember where I got this, but I have used parts of it. I just cut around. If I can't get the glue, the hard glue off it, I just cut around that part. So I think I'll just lay that right on top of the other ones for now. Okay, so there's that box. I guess I'll put this in there too. Here's this one. I don't really think I want to put more in here. So, it's going back. So, the empty drawer is going to have to be utilized for these. I'm going to save this drawer for when I do my embroidered laces. Maybe I'll put embroidered laces in here and add things like this to it. So I'm just going to set these aside until I know what I'm doing with all the other stuff. These are going to be determined later. Okay, let's work at the wide laces now. I'm going to take this label off and put uh, wide lace on it. I guess all of these will go in one drawer, no matter if they're the really wide ones or the less wide ones. They'll all go in one drawer. So these are the really wide ones. I'm not putting these pieces in the box with the short lace just because I, I guess just because I want them in this box. I don't really have a good reason for that. I guess I don't want to fill that box up with wide, wide pieces. So these are going to go back in here too.
sorry that the video got abruptly cut off when I was doing the last lace um, organizing video, but I did warn you. <laughs> I knew the light was flashing, so I told you it might happen. Sometimes it's a little startling when it happens, though. I don't think I was mid-sentence, at least. I think I was being quiet at that point when it stopped. So I don't want to overstuff this drawer because I do have to go through it when I want to pick something out. I can't just look at all the standing on end pieces because there aren't standing on end pieces. So I do have to actually pick through it. So I don't want it to get too full. all that's going back in here. So that looks pretty good. That's not bad. Now for the fun stuff. Well, probably won't get very far with this. So I'm going to pick out my embroidered trims. This is an embroidered trim, but it's different because it's on a cotton fabric. So I'll set that one in a different pile. As this one is cotton too. And this one. So they'll have their own category. Oh, these lace, laces need to go back in what I just did. Or not, not just did, but this is the only one that's an embroidered trim. This is a printed one. Look at all these luscious pieces. Oh my goodness. These are what, um, these are called braid. So that's separate. There's a crochet. So I'm going to try to fit that in with the cotton crochet trims. These also go in those other, one of those other containers. This isn't actually, this will go with the uh, bias tape because it's not embroidered, it's printed and it is folded like, an, like a bias tape. So that will go someplace else. I love that one. these braids and some other kinds of trims on cards already they are not going to be a part of this embroidered ribbon explosion and that ribbon trim okay looks like I can go with the crochet too Looks like I have everything out of here that I want to work with right now. And 
and I think I'm going to make sure that these can fit in here. So I need narrower cards. These are on spools. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put them in here. And then I have this one. Um, this one doesn't belong in here. I'm going to let this one stay. These are not embroidered. So actually I'm going to put them in the to be determined pile. So I'm going to fish out of my trash some of my hand cut cards that I threw out because I will be using them for the embroidered trims. So let's just start wrapping some things. There's a lot here. I'm going to put some in the stash. This is some of it, so I'm just going to put that in. I love it, but I can share. Mm, is there another piece of it? Okay, I'm going to cut a little bit off of this. And I'm just going to leave it on this card. This looks like some funky um, 70s trim, doesn't it? I got this in a Happy Mail. sunbonnet girl on this trim. That is so pretty. There's a lot of it there too. Hope I've been in frame for you. took my grandson to a diner for pancakes. I mentioned that I was going to do that in the previous video. So it was just a quick little lunch. Took him to the diner and he got, we both got pancakes and then they didn't have dessert at that diner or ice cream at least. I asked if they had ice cream and she said no. And so he wanted, uh, I asked him what, where he would like to go for dessert. And he said he wanted a McFlurry from McDonald's. So we just went through the drive-thru and got him an uh, M&M &M McFlurry. And then I took him home. I think I can donate some of this. So we had a fun little date. And I told his brother that we'll, we'll do our own lunch date or breakfast date or whatever sometime. doing too bad. This is day two of trying to organize laces and trims. 
Don't know if I'll finish it today, but we're making progress. I'm going to cut some of this off. And I will be glad to have it done, have it organized. Uh, what else can I put on this card? A lot of these embroidered pieces I got in Happy Mails. I think all of them here I did. I guess these aren't something I find at flea markets that much. I think I got some of this at a flea market. I think I got those at a flea market, but most of it has been Happy Mails. So thank you, because I love this stuff. And I use some of it in my shabby journals that I just finished. I use some of this one and some of this one. That has a long, pointy, sharp thing. I'm going to stick it down in there. Okay, I've got that one, and look at that beautiful lace or trim. I'm just going to leave that on that card. And this one I will leave the way it is. Well, this and this, sorry, they both came on this card at a, at a flea market. We'll be done with this drawer lickety split. Well, at least this part. We still have all those fringes and braids to go through, but that won't be in this video.
we'll just add this to this card. Now this is probably woven. Looks like it's embroidered on top, but I think it's woven. But I'm going to put it with the embroidered pieces. Same with that one. I don't know. This is just a small piece, but I love it. I have used some of it. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this woven piece in here. No, I'll put that in with the braid. Okay. Now I just have these two. Oh, I have this one. Just a small piece of this. So I think I want these on separate cards. Maybe not. Maybe I just need to neaten them up. I like this card that it's on. To avoid lost sales, please reorder every pattern as you sell it. Oh, this is a pattern catalog card. So there's the pattern number. That's the price of the catalog, of the pattern. And then these are the sizes available. That's fun. I'm going to take this off and keep that card and use it in a journal. So I think I will put some of these two in these stash bundles because I don't need this much. They are gorgeous and I love them but I can share. Sorry for the tedium. Just put this piece in the D-stash for now. These, these two trims were from Peggy that I just got a couple days ago. Thanks, Peggy. She sent me some of the other ones, too, that I already wound on cards. I love them. I started at the wrong side. I want them this way.
This is kind of relaxing. Oh, I'm just going to cut some more off. So if I work on um, this organization of trims and lace tomorrow, I might be able to have it done tomorrow. But going to be visiting a friend, a friend in need tomorrow morning, someone who just needs to talk, and I'll give her all the time she needs. It's not very sturdy. Those are not sturdy cards. pretty. I should probably just do this while I watch TV tonight instead of boring you with it. So, because it's kind of tangled, I'm going to set that aside and work on it later. Uh, I'll cut some of it off right now. And I will add these pieces. These are embroidered. So I'm going to add these to this drawer. And I've got room for more stuff in there too. These came in that big box of stuff from the Labor Day flea market last year. I love them. I got so much good stuff from that vendor. I got a box full of vintage papers and then a part of a box full of laces and more vintage papers. It was so much fun. Sometimes I like to rewatch my hauls just to relive the fun. The really good hauls like this one. I don't know if this piece will stay in this drawer, but for now it's going on here. And then this is already on a card, so I'll leave it there. I'll put this in there, it's embroidered. And this. And I will add the bias tape pieces in here. And 
this. And I think I'll just go ahead and add this in here. It's just a printed ribbon. I could, I should put it in my ribbon basket, but I am going to just add it here because when I'm looking for a printed, the embroidered pieces have a pattern on them. I might, I might want this, so I'll put it here for now. I can always change my mind. Let's see if anything else goes in this. I think I'll put this in here. Okay, that's all I'm putting in here for now but I have all the braids and stuff to go through. I'm not sure how I'll divide all that up. So I've got lots of room left in this drawer. Ouch. Okay, so we made a lot of progress today. I might continue a little bit longer uh, after I turn the camera off. And we'll pick up again um, with another video, maybe. Thanks for watching. I hope you're organizing along with me. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.